everyone. It's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I apologize. I didn't put up the color inspiration. You can find that over at the Beanie Kit Monday Facebook group. Uh, I'll have that uh, linked below. So check that out if you want to know what the inspiration is. Uh, we have a lot of fun over there. Um, we have um, a lot of people that post their, their layouts. So the gist of it is you, you make a kit every month and one of the hostesses provides inspiration. And this month, the hostess is Dolly. And she had this beautiful color to choose from. She has sketches and also inspiration to make your own background. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make my own background other than in, through embellishments and pattern paper. I'm not going to stamp or anything like that. So I had trimmed down that uh, lighter colored, uh, you know, the non-stripe paper down to 10 by 10. And I love that you can see an inch around it. It just, you know, it's enough of the color that, uh, but not overpowering. So I really, really, really like that. As I was looking at that sticker sheet, um, it's by Vicki Booten Color Study. I was really looking for a big embellishment because I do like to have something that will be like a foundation for my, uh, for my clusters and for the main cluster, I really like it to be pretty large. I would say at least four inches um, round or square or something, uh, rectangle, something, but there just wasn't anything. And usually she has some pretty big items, but you know, like I said, um, all that uh, I have is the sticker sheet. I also have this pattern paper. I show that quickly. I do trim out a few of the flowers. They do not go at all with this layout with these colors. So I quickly pushed it off to the side. Maybe the next layout it will work. So you see how I have that rectangle up in the upper left corner. Um, I'm not going to keep that there, but um, and also, I do apologize. I thought I had it recording. Um, I went through, this is just my pink band. I have two of these, and I keep pink and uh, red in this. But obviously, I've got some purple in there because I end up pulling quite a bit of this uh, lavender color. And even though there's not lavender in anything, you know, um, it really works. I really lo love the way it works. So this doily that I have, I bought those, oh goodness, I probably bought them at Michael's and it's been many, many, many years ago. And I probably got 20 to 25 and I'm still going through them. You know, I still have at least 10 to 12 of them left. So eventually I will go through them. Um, I think it's a perfect foundation for my cluster that I'm putting up here, um, up here in the corner. Um, I like to have a lot of different elements. So I have the doily, I have the tag, I have a camera, I have a couple of round elements. I do keep this happy. It is on a piece of acetate. And uh, I figured that you could just read it, um, be able to read it on top of the tag that I have. I'm just kind of auditioning different pieces just to see if they work. My favorite shape is, is round. So I, you know, I'll have several round elements throughout uh, my pages. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking through and, and I decided to only go through this one bin. I didn't pull out my second pink bin because I think I found everything that I was looking for. I had a few items on my desk. Uh, that I had that were from Freckle Fawn and they didn't seem to work. So I didn't use them. I try not to lift much up. Um, I know that I have to a little bit and things never seem to go back exactly the way you had them. But, you know, for all practical purposes, it is close enough.
And like I said, this is a photo of my niece and her twins. Um, I know that this was taken on Mother's Day. And I think I've scrapped it before, but it was a small photo and it was more about Mother's Day. But this one, I want it to be like their sweet relationship. That uh, it, it used to be like a little quote. It had the little thing that hung down like a quotation. And I did trim that off. You saw me do that. Uh, I do like to add some uh, dimension to some of my pieces. And uh, so this is some really thin uh, foam tape that I bought. And that way, this little phrase, it says, families matter most. There is like this hot pink piece of uh, it's actually watercolor paper. And what that is, it's like a swatch. Um, I had some color pens. They're like uh, watercolor pens. And I wasn't sure exactly what that shade was in the watercolor pen. I think it was a little deceiving. And I painted this really thin strip of uh, watercolor. And I thought, well, you know, I'll just throw that in my bin. And sure enough, I probably did that about two weeks ago in here already. I'm using it up. It's actually just the perfect color. I think it was a Vicki Booten watercolor pen. I think it was like cherry. So it seems to work out perfect. I thought that that acrylic piece had the film on it and I couldn't seem to find it. So I just left it as it is. I want to say that that camera was from paper issues. I think it was from like a cut apart, like you could download it and, and, uh, you know, and cut it out a, a die cut. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, and I've had that in my stash for quite some time. Now this other little phrase that I'm putting down, it says one fine day together. And then there's this little oval that I glue down and I end up using some glue dots on it. I believe it's, I know it's chipboard and I'm pretty sure it's from Freckle Fawn. It says a little silly. Uh, yeah, this family is, a, is not a little silly. They're a lot of silly. They're, they're such a sweet family, such a sweet family. And I know that the heart that the bigger heart is from Freckle Fawn. Yeah, that was one of the items that was on my desk. So it's always nice, you know, look around and see what you have around your desk because there's always a little something, right? There's something you forgot to put away or something like a little straggler of some sort. And it is amazing when you see those little stragglers, how it just works perfect on the page that you're working on. I think it does anyway. Normally, I don't put uh, twine in my tags, uh, I, but I end up doing that this time around. It is, um, you know, I think I need to find some new twine. I, I need to, um, I don't know. I've seen MK Gun. She has some twine that she uses, and I need to figure out where she gets hers. Hers is thinner, and th the kind that I have is kind of multicolored, which I think is kind of old school. Um, I've had these colors mm, five years or more. Yeah, here it is. It's super, super thick. I have, I have a hard time getting it in the hole, but I end up doing it. And that, and it kind of unravels on the end, and I'm okay with that, whatever. All right, so here's the title. Uh, it's, it's very simple, but I wanted to use these massive, I mean, they're really big blocks. And, uh, and you see the word these two. I do have the word love. It's really small but at least I get quite a few of the, the alpha down there, um, you know, actually used. And I'm like, yay. And then for the smaller letters, I use, you know, the ones that I showed you before. They were from, I think they're Bible journaling letters. And they are transparent. Even though they're black, you can still see through them. So I wanted to make sure that I put them on white. If not, I would have gotten a white cardstock and put them on there. Well, I thought I had recorded putting the little purple heart on and doing the splatters. But here's some still shots so you can see it. 
Uh, thanks guys for joining me today and I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.